Now, everyone, it is currently the 11th of May 2013, and well, the Northern Hemisphere tropical season is getting underway with our most recent storm being dubbed by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center Tropical Cyclone 01. B, the 01 for the first storm of the year, the B for the Bay of Bengal. Well, also being going to be called Mahasin from uh, the India Meteorological Department once it upgrades into that intensity rain now just being called a subtropical depression. As of making this update, but it is intensifying here, you can really just see that track pulling off towards the north. Now, all of our friends out here in Sri Lanka and along the eastern coast of India, including Chennai here, uh, well, at least the good news, this storm looks like it's going to actually stay off there towards the east, but you're still going to be seeing some some outflow coming out of this and very well could see some heavy rainfall creating some coastal flooding here just due to the outer rain bands. But the worst of the weather is going to be off here towards the east. We're talking about Bangladesh, Miramar, even portions of in northern Indonesia have been getting in on this heavy rain. But the one area that really does not need any more rainfall, taking a look at the past seven days, is in here along eastern India, Bangladesh, and western portions of Myanmar. Take a look at that. That's actually indicating upwards of five to 800 millimeters of rainfall in a few areas here. The area is already very well saturated. Uh, there's still the continued risk of flooding, already many river rises here. If the storm does continue to develop, and it really looks like it's going to, this is going to be a, a very major factor and possibility of some very significant flooding out here as the storm continues to track off towards the north. But at this time, though, uh, at least the center of circulation somewhat disorganized, actually because we are seeing some vertical wind shear over top of it right now. We pull up this wind shear chart, about 40 to 50 knots in a few areas here along the eastern portion of it. You're seeing about 10 to 20 knots. That's keeping it organized here. But that's why it's a little bit disrupted and you're not seeing so much symmetrical formation coming out of this. But... One thing that is countering that is the fairly good outflow from it. You can see that inflow coming in, these very good banding. Radio outflow aloft is nearly perfect with this storm system. So with that said, it's countering it, and that is one reason why we're expecting this to continue to intensify. Well, like I said yesterday, once it moves a little bit farther towards the north, though, it's going to be removing some of that vertical wind shear, and thus the intensity is going to be increasing as it does continue to push through the Bay of Bengal. Also, sea surface temperatures aren't helping matters because we are seeing actually fairly significant warm waters under this. And a few of the models are now starting to come around. GFS was actually the most bullish, and it's starting to back off. Navgem really popping on it. But the one model, my favorite model, which has been weak on this storm system, but due to the increase in that inflow and outflow that I just mentioned, I think the European is coming around. Also, it's indicating some moisture pulling in from the south. It's going to wrap around the system and really keep it alive. I mean, really, at the same time here, going through your Saturday and the Sunday, look at all that dry air off towards the north. But let's pop this ahead. By Monday and the Tuesday, all this moisture comes wrapping in around. That's what's also going to cause some heavy rainfall across Thailand and there in the eastern portions of India, even though the storm system is here. But what that is going to do is allow that drier inflow to not have much an impact on it and that is also being reflected here with the uh, European model and you're still going to see this continue to circulate push off there towards the north and then eventually starting to churn towards the north and north northeast really just due to that high pressure ridge over India at this time it's kind of buffer it off and push it off there in that northeasterly direction we take a look at the winds at the same time here going through Monday a fairly strong and intense system, but we are seeing that vertical wind shear still farther off towards the north. And it, it, the, um, the European model actually expects this to slightly weaken before it really makes that charge in the northerly direction. This model from uh, Navgem, though, on the other hand, is really keeping it the most intense here on the bottom left of your screen. I actually, zoom here for you, and you're going to see that initialization. It pulls off towards the north, stays east of India. But according to this model, it gets strong when we're talking about a severe cyclonic system pushing off there and it really gets tightly wounded before making that landfall here into the uh, southern portions of Bangladesh, eastern India, and around Miramar. So at this time, at least I, I know like earlier in the week I was talking about possibility to be landfall over here. We're going to change that now and we always say with the long range models. Well, you have to just stand by, but now it looks like really off here towards the north is going to be the main threat around Bangladesh. Definitely 
Eastern India and portions of Miramar here. You're going to really want to uh, watch out for this. Uh, I think that it very well is going to become a cyclonic storm. Mahasin is going to be the name of it. And uh, if this does bring this heavy rainfall and the risk of storm surge near the coastal areas by mid next week, and that's really looking like Tuesday to Wednesday of next week, uh, it very well could be a very dangerous and potentially deadly storm. So we are definitely going to continue to watch the storm system very closely here throughout the coming days. This is from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, expecting it to intensify up to about 80, gusting up to 100 knots. So the equivalent of a moderately strong typhoon out here as it continues to pull off there towards the north. Uh, and they expect that landfall as well with that strong intensity there around eastern India, much of Myanmar, and there in Bangladesh, just like that model just showed you. Uh, like I said, though, the eastern portions of India, you're really missing out on this, very likely, but still some outer rain bands are going to impact you as this can, does push off there towards the west before making that turn towards the northeast. Well, once again, though, this is a very low-lying area here. This entire area is only a few feet above sea level. So any storm surge really would be uh, an unwelcome scenario. So we're going to continue to watch this very closely throughout the coming days. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, oh, please post them down in the comment box below. And as always, stay safe out there. One other note, not official agency here. I know I showed you what I showed you there. Actually, Joint Typhoon Warning Center, not an official agency either. Uh, the India Meteorological Department, the official one warning on this from the RSMC. So just continue to check in with them for the latest warnings. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.